In this video, we'll be talking about the differences between apoptosis and necrosis. This is a high yield topic for USMLE step one. So stay tuned till the end. So first difference between apoptosis and necrosis, which is the most important part. Apoptosis could be physiological or pathological. It could be both. But necrosis is mostly pathological. Currently, there are no instances that necrosis is also associated as a physiological process. Now, let me remind you, during development, apoptosis could happen. For example, when our digits are separated, this process requires apoptosis. So apoptosis works as a uh, sculpture artist during development. It can also occur when our regulating factor is withdrawn in a proliferating environment. For example, when interleukin 2 uh, level drops down, then there, are, there is an apoptosis of the effector T cells. So this is completely normal. There is no pathology associated with it. But apoptosis can also be associated with pathology. It could be both. For example, if you have trauma, radiation, toxin exposure, these factors could lead to apoptosis. Now for necrosis to occur, it has to be some sort of infection or some sort of injury. For example, ischemia reperfusion injury, there could be other categories where there is an abscess development, there could be fungal infection, there could be injury or blood clot associated uh, necrosis or let's say there is gangrenous infection. So there are different category of ne necrosis which one can think of but each of these categories are associated with some sort of infection or injury. If you want to learn more about the types of necrosis, I have a video on that, click on the i button. But at least you can understand right now that uh, necrosis is always associated with some sort of pathology. Then apopt in apoptosis, the cell membrane typically remains intact. That means the uh, bilayer remains intact and the integrity is not lost. But in necrosis, it is lost. But before that, it is important to note that in apoptosis, the membrane lipid composition change. Many membrane lipid uh, uh, categories such as phosphatidyl serine, which was supposed to be in the inner leaflet, now is displaced on the outer leaflet. Here you can see it in the green. So these are uh, some lipid signatures during apoptosis. In necrosis, the membrane integrity is lost. That means there are physical damage in the plasma uh, membrane, which leads to leakage of fluid or cytoplasmic material outside. And this is not happening in apoptosis. Apoptosis, though there is blebbing of the cell, but each of these bleb has intact membrane. So the contacts are confined. Another peculiar feature about apoptosis is that inflammation is not in evoked. The cell shrinks, the cell dies, but there is no inflammation in the nearby tissue. So if there are cells nearby, they won't be harmed. But in necrosis, things are different. Necrosis in some cases can evoke strong inflammatory response or tissue damage. Then in case of apoptosis, the cell size generally shrinks because the membrane blebs out and the cell becomes smaller in size. And in case of necrosis, the opposite thing happens. The cell swells up. And there is also leakage of fluid. The mitochondria and other organelles also swells up. There is another peculiar fact factor which is lysosomal rupture. The rupture of lysosome lead to hydrolytic and proteolytic enzyme to be released on the outside environment of the cell which is detrimental and can further evoke inflammation. In apoptosis, there are well-coordinated, well-defined pathways such as intrinsic and extrinsic pathway which are orchestrated by specific molecular mediators. In context of necrosis, there are not very well-defined molecular event which controls the process. It's not as programmed as apoptosis. People think there was no control over necrosis, but it's un not true. There is some molecular involvement, but the entire procedure is not very well coordinated from a molecular perspective. Another peculiar factor about apoptosis, be it extrinsic pathway, be it int intrinsic pathway, the executor caspase is the key player in this process. The cleaved caspase 3 is the main player. But caspase activation is never seen in necrosis. So just to remind you about all these differences, let us quickly review the cellular hallmark of necrosis and apoptosis. So let's review the necrosis. In case of necrosis, mitochondrial swelling, perinuclear localization of mitochondria is pretty distinct. There is a calcium overload. 
there is plasma membrane rupture lysosomal rupture excessive ros production atp depletion and uncoupling of the uh, the uh, etc now the key points of apoptosis are the following apoptosis is atp dependent program cell pathway the there is intrinsic and extrinsic pathway both pathways activate caspase so caspase is the key player then cellular breakdown happens shrinkage happens membrane blebs out but the membrane remains intact though the uh, next point is the cell membrane typically remains unharmed and there is no inflammation which is evoked the cell membrane composition changes we did see distribution of the lipid has changed and another thing is dna laddering that means the dna becomes fragmented but still confined in those blebs so i hope this covers the important differences between apoptosis and necrosis all the detailed videos are linked in the i button you can quickly go and click on the on that i think this video was useful if you like this video give it a quick thumbs up don't forget to like share and subscribe you can support our channel using super thanks which is a heart shape icon on the bottom right corner of the video you can click on that and pay via paytm paypal or upi see you in next video